State machine. State machine is nothing but a collection of conditions to make a NPC work or behave in a certain way. Remember those bots in the CSGO, GTA, Cyberpunk? Yeah, they were made using state machine. So let's make our own state machine. First, we need to plan the states of our NPC. I want my NPC to have three states. Idle if the player is uh, far enough from the NPC. Alert if the player is near the NPC. Angry if the player is too close. To implement this, we can open the script of our NPC character and make an enum. If you don't know what an enum is, then think of it like a way to declare constant but a bit more optimized. Back to our script, type enum idle alert angry and also create a variable called state and set the value to idle in the process function let's start implementing those conditions i want my npc to change its color according to its state so type uh, match state that means we are matching state uh, with idle that means if the state is idle then change the color uh, to like yellow and if the state is alert i want my npc to change its color to um, like orange and for angry i am going to give the color red now our state machine is ready to use all we need to do is just change the state to idle alert or angry or whatever state you want your npc to be in as we planned, we will change the state according to the uh, distance between player and our NPC. So I made a reference to our player using a get node function and in the process function, I made a variable called distance to store our uh, distance between player and NPC. And all is left is to just if destination is smaller than 200 or 300, I'm going to change the state to alert if the distance is a bit too small like less than 150, I'm going to uh, change the state to angry. And we are done, let's run it and yeah that's it.